Everyone, my name is Dana Brown. I'm Zojo's Director of Marketing, and today's tutorial will show you one of the many new features and improvements introduced with Zojo 2020 Release 1, which is customizing the list box column headers. In fact, this is a long-time feature request from Zojo users. Customizing the list box headers is actually really easy to do, so let's take a look. Here we're running the 2020 R1 version of the Zojo IDE, and you can see in the layout editor how we have a list box displaying a couple of column headers using a bigger typography and with a bigger header cell size under Mac OS, which is something that was only possible before on Windows and Linux, but not on Mac OS. This is something we can do via the settings section on the inspector panel, and this is where we can set both the font name and the font size amongst many other properties. But the customized list box headers are not limited to display only text at any desired size, which is something that is reflected on the fly uh, by the layout editor. In addition, you can use any combination of text, pictures, graphics, drawing, and colors to customize the headers. For that, we only need to add a couple of new event handlers to the list box, as we're used to doing when customizing the drawing in the row cells. These new event handlers are header background paint and header content paint. As you can see with the header background paint, we can customize the background of the header painting. And for that, we'll receive a graphics object and the column index of the header to be drawn. So in this code, we will set the background color and then draw a filled rectangle with that color and size in the size of the header itself. Then in the header content paint event handler, we can do the foreground painting, a couple of pictures previously added to the project, and that will be painted on every one of the two headers at the specified X and Y coordinates. And draw, also drawing a string afterwards using the black color. A little trick here is using the font size property to adjust only the text of the drawed string while we set it uh, with a bigger value in the inspector panel so the header has enough vertical room to draw the pictures. So if the pictures are to be drawn at say 25 pixel height, then we would need to set the font size to 25 using the list box inspector panel. Besides that, we only need to use a select case to check the received column in index so we can change the kind of drawing for every column. After all, these event handler signatures are very similar to those we used to use when it was about drawing in the row cells. As a result, we'll see that this simple fragment of code, both the one drawing the header background and the one drawing the foreground for the column headers, we can customize the drawing really easily of the column headers. In this case, a picture at the calculated position from the header cell top and left margins combined with the desired text string centered over the header. And here you can see the picture height is 32 pixels, greater, which is greater than the text size. And this is something we can see using the inspector for the image. So we set the font size to 35 points under the attribute section of the inspector panel for the list box. This ensures that the pictures will fit in the header. And then we'll simply need to adjust the font size again to the desired value for the text drawing, so in this case, 20 points. Otherwise, if we set the font size in the inspector panel to a lower value, then the pictures would be clipped in the header. Of course, you can combine these two event handlers with cell background paint and cell text paint to fully customize the look of the data displayed in the list box. I hope you found this video useful and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel in order to get notifications on new videos and visit our blog, Facebook group, Twitter, and of course the Zojo forum.